Good morning. Today's gonna be the last day of wheat harvest for us. That's an awesome thing. So uh, we can't start harvesting wheat until the dew comes off the plants. So usually it's at least 11 o'clock, sometimes after lunch before we get started. So we got a few other things we're working on here this morning. Dad's got just a little bit of spraying to do, a little 16 acre piece. So we gotta kill some volunteer corn. So he's gonna do that. I'm gonna keep working on this tank a little bit. Brock will be here in a few minutes. He's gonna help with it. Um, I did a little bit with it one day last week. We've got a shuttle full that we need to go and empty. Dad rigged up a little manifold for us. The boys are over there on our gator. They, Dad rigged up a little manifold for us, so we just go drive through the field, open the valve, and let it drain. We'll do that here in a few minutes. And we got a bunch of water in our tank trying to get stuff dissolved, so. Popsicles. He's 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 not doing the sprayer because he didn't have enough water. Oh, I see. Okay. Like I said, we've got some water in there. I hooked up this pump here. We've got a suction line sucking out of there, and then another one that's putting it in to uh, help agitate, so we can try and stir some stuff up a little bit. I think my suction line's got a hole in it though, so we might have to switch those. Brock's there. Uh, we filled up that other tank, so we gotta go get him empty. He's getting some hoses switched around and getting stuff ready. We're gonna go empty this. Let's see how this works. All right, well, we've got our shuttle sitting on the back there, sitting on a piece of plywood. We've got um, a little manifold that Dad built up, and it's got, you know, a spot there, a spot there, and a spot there where it's gonna puke it out on the ground. We're just gonna open the valve and hurry up and go drive. Ready? Go! Oh yeah, there it comes. Go drive! Yeah, that's working. This will get uh, chiseled later this fall, so we'll get it all worked in. And I, I mean, I have no idea how much actual fertilizer value is in this liquid there's got to be some but it's a good way to get rid of it i guess now i am sure that somebody is going to tell me again that i should just hire a septic service to come in and suck that tank out or find somebody else to do it or hire a professional or blah 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 it's like you guys have no confidence in me at all like i'm just completely incompetent and can't do anything hire your electrical work done hire your cleaning stuff done you want me to hire somebody to power wash not Brock, I'm like a professional service. I've seen that comment before. I'm surprised nobody suggested that we harvest a hire, uh, or hire a harvest crew to come in and combine our wheat for us. Like, why are we messing with it ourselves? Guys, that's the whole point. I, I, we do things ourselves. I don't hire stuff people to do stuff that I can do myself. Very rarely. This is working perfectly. We'll get it. It might take me longer than it would take somebody else, but so what? That's half the fun of it. This seems to be working pretty well. Getting a lot of it out. Some pump pumping it into the toads. They're in there with clean water, agitating it around. About got another tote full. Okay, we're filling a couple more totes here. We're about ready to go combine wheat. Just trying to fill these up because we had it all set up and the rocks in there. We've gotten most of it. Now we just need to keep getting the water out. See what's left. Time to combine wheat. Finish wheat. Notice how it's nice and sunny that way. There's the cloud bank. There's rain coming. We gotta get it done. Dad and Brayson are grabbing the head for us. I'm taking the combine. We got Brock in the grain cart tractor. And off we go. Oh, take the parking brake off. Now off we go. All right, um, Dad's going to run the combine for a little bit. Brock hasn't run this green cart with this tractor at all, so we're going to give him a little lesson. Not that I need him to run it for the last 30 acres that we've got here, but I will this fall, so now's a good time for a lesson. Right, Brock? Sure. Yeah. You 
You got this figured out yet? I think so. Okay. It's not too hard. No. Not once you get the hang of it. We still don't have a truck. We're going to need to make a phone call and get a truck back here, I think. But I think I'm going to let Dad go and go run the combine. And you can finish this. I think so. Okay. All right. Back in the combine. Dance party to the sassy Oh, my goodness. We've got dance parties going on here. Do you ride Crazy kids. Crazy. Anyway. We're getting a sack. This is good weed over here. Things are going well. It's good. We don't have very much to do. Let's see, how many acres do we have left to do? 16 acres remaining. That's what we've got left to weed harvest. So this is the first I have used the combine or been in the combine with the machine sink. Learning all the beeps. I heard that he had it engaged. We are also getting relatively full cart, so we may should beep when he gets to his home point right there. Yep. Uh, we may have to use our nudge buttons here a little bit, which I do not have on the screen. So if I go to the machine sink, here we can nudge him. So we'll, we'll play with this a little bit. Basically on this cart, you want to fill it just in front of the axle, in front of the halfway point, and then And then fill the um, back of the cart and then the front of the cart so those beeps are all me bumping them so now we're filling the back side of the cart that's pretty cool yeah. nicely done well that worked out really well what worked out we're empty so we're not going to get them quite clear full but um Cool. Really we may have to set up our home screens a little more so we've got some of those buttons handy, easily accessible. <laughs> it's still cool. It's huh? still cool. Huh? How about still cool? The grain cart. The fact that the combine controls the grain cart. <laughs> You know, guys want to mess with him? Mess with who? Brock. Uh, He's not connected. It oh, it didn't work. You spilled the weed. Uh, Brock didn't trust the system. He stopped when I stopped. He was trying to make him slow down. Uh, like that. And then we speed up. Trying to mess with him. But no, he's got to stop. <laughs> then we started to spill stuff. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You lose all your weed. No, we didn't lose any. We barely spilled any. Well, some of the roof up there. There is a little bit, but that's all that got up there. Uh. And it's Brock's fault because he stopped. It's Brock's fault because he stopped. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's not a big deal. We didn't lose any. We lose. So uh, one more thing I wanted to address, uh, we'll talk about a little bit, is uh, double crop beans and baling the straw. So clearly we've windrowed all the straw. Um, we do not bale. We used to bale. We do not anymore. We sold our straw equipment 15 years ago to a neighbor who um, does all of the straw baling for us. So he buys the straw from us in the windrow out of the field. They bale it. They take care of storing it, selling it, stacking it, all that kind of stuff. Uh, they did get some done. The stuff that we had combined in this field earlier. Um, they got done combined and or uh, bailed up and put away. They're uh, gonna be bailing today if it's not raining here in a little bit, and uh, we'll keep moving right across to all of the straw. I realize that the straw is worth something, and there is fertility value to it. There, they do pay us for the straw, buy it from us. It's not like they're just taking it. So we feel that we're being compensated for it. Um, in addition, that extra residue that that straw there that they're actually removing. It, it really complicates things when it comes to spring as far as um, uh, getting the ground to dry out and all that residue has to break down and so them bailing some of it and removing it actually helps us in the spring in that sense so um, that's good we are going to plant some cover crop stuff we have clover growing in a lot of the wheat stubble but not this field so we'll put some in and um, <laughs> 
and uh, hopefully we'll have a, a good cover crop catch and have plenty of uh, organic matter and residue out here to you know keep the ground in good shape so um, there's that side of it as far as double crop beans go last year we planted some double crop beans uh, we had planned on and thought about planting some double crop beans this year uh, but it got too late sit back. You sit back? Sit back. so for double crop beans you need three things you need uh, an early wheat harvest, which we kind of yes, we kind of had an early wheat harvest when we got started here. The stuff that's already bailed off, but we only did about 20 acres. The wheat was pretty wet, and then we got all that rain. And by the time we got back to it, and they get the straw bailed off, uh, it you know <coughs> we could have started planting double crop beans maybe two days ago. It's just too late. Uh, <coughs> the difference in our double crop beans from uh, the stuff planted July 4th versus July 10th last year was close to 15 bushel difference. They were much, much worse the later you got planted. And so starting planting on the 9th or 10th is just not going to work. Um, the other thing that you need is uh, moisture. When we were combining the first time before it rained, we did not have moisture in the ground. It was very, very dry. We've gotten some now. It's starting to get dry again, but it... Um, was plenty dry so that was if you want the third thing is good grain prices we do have good grain prices although they kind of crashed the last couple of weeks so that's not as attractive as it was but uh biggest factor is it just got too late for us so we're not going to do any double crop beans this year we're on the last round the last round Harvest 22. It's not even one o'clock yet. We're we're in great shape. Is even getting a little sunshine to finish it up. Rock's coming around. We're gonna unload on the go one last time here. That means we're gonna Get have a rainbow. Off. That means we're gonna have if a rainbow. If it rains with the sun out, we will. Look at that eight RX work. better job with the GoPros. I tried, I had them, I just never took the time to do it. So I got a little bit of footage the other day. We'll throw that in here, but not much. Sorry.
end of wheat harvest 22. Oh, there goes a rabbit. Another rabbit. I think we should just wait until that's done. Done. We'll let everything clean out here. And, uh. Honk, 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 ding, ding. We'll go clean stuff off I, a little I bit before we go up to the barn. I honked on I heard you honk the horn. <laughs> yeah. We did not use that fungicide. We used the other one on this field, not the one that we used on the field yesterday. And we'll look at it. Gross. Now we're gonna pick some of the heavy stuff off. I wanna put the chopper down and engage it because when we're windrowing like this, we get a bunch of stuff in there, up there that just builds up. So we're gonna put it down and then run it. Just gotta use the switch and that lowers it. Well, just that uh, tube we've got on there is blowing a bunch of it off. We'll get the leaf blower and blow the combine off at some point. I don't know that that'll happen today, but I do want to do it. Just trying to get some of the heavy stuff off while we're still in the field here. Done! D-U-N! Awesome. It's like Ryland's getting backhoe driving lessons. All by himself. Grandpa's been letting him drive around like that for a while. Sitting on the little buddy seat that he made and letting Ryland do the driving. It's good for him, learning. Anyway, uh, Brock and I and Grayson went to lunch. Post-harvest, we're done. Let's go celebrate lunch, kind of. So he is uh, spreading some more of that stuff we pumped out of the tank there. It's clouding up again like it might rain this afternoon. I don't know, we'll see. We may go drive around, look at some fields, take a gator ride. We gotta get the header cart out of the field, get the head dropped off the combine there, clean some stuff up. Bracing gets to use the power tools. <laughs> Cleaning up some landscaping, I guess. I don't know. Started. <laughs> well, we got two more full totes, but we got a clean tank. Check this out. We got most of the water pumped out. It was we couldn't couldn't get to the outside, but there's a little hump in the middle, and that's clean. There's a little bit and some of this outside stuff here that we just can't get, but uh, we got her. And you guys told me to call a professional. <laughs> oh, it's a crappy spread pattern, but it's a spread pattern. Good work. We'll proc deal with that. We got a header cart to get. I got her header cart. We're gonna get the head dropped off. We gotta pin these sensors up to unhook it. I don't know if we have to, but we have been because we'd hate to rip them off. So they just got a little pin that then locks in there. Um, we won't use them for beans, so they'll stay up now until next summer. We're going to leave that here for tonight, but we are going to put the combine in. Brock's coming back tomorrow. The plan is to blow the combine off, wash the bean head off, get the dust and that black stuff off of it. We'll probably rinse the outside of the combine. We're not going to wash it real thoroughly right now, but we'll blow the chaff and stuff off, the loose stuff, and then... Uh, Rinse the outside to shield, it's probably foam it, and uh, just power wash that off real quick. So, um, yeah, that's the plan there. We're going home soon. All right, we're going home. Thanks for watching today. Weed harvest is done, yay! So, a little equipment to clean up here. We're also going to get the bean planter cleaned up and put away here. Some maybe this week. Like um, if it doesn't rain tonight, we're probably going to start the irrigation back up tomorrow. I was going to do it today, and then they were talking rain this afternoon and tonight. Although that doesn't look likely right now. There's nothing even imminent or close or anything. So um, we'll probably be pumping water again tomorrow. Yay. But uh, we got plenty to do, I'm sure. We've got some bigger projects to do this summer yet. Um, and we've got some time to get them done. So that's good. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hit that like and subscribe button. Questions, comments, leave them down below. Go to farmfocus.com. Check out the Border View Farms merchandise. We are still doing the fundraiser for the Corporal Big and Page Foundation. Uh, you can find some more information on that on uh, 
Paul, go to Farm Focus Instagram page. They've got a little bit, or go to the uh, website linked down below in the description. Thanks for supporting that cause. Appreciate it. See you guys.